Welcome to my highly anticipated house tour. And by highly anticipated, I mean literally nobody asked for it. Here's my table. Here is my plant. Here are my decorative sticks. Here's my couch. Here's my framed picture of David Cross. Oh yeah, also I have a craft room now. I got a soldering station, I got a sewing station, I got an unnecessarily large monitor, basically I got everything. And I'm sure in the video it kind of looks like a weird small hallway room that doesn't make any sense, and that's because it basically is. One thing that's nice about here is there's pretty much no rules, which means finally I can get a cat. Now obviously owning animals is a lot of responsibility, and I actually didn't have any cats growing up, so I don't even know I'm gonna like it. That's why I decided I should make a test cat of sorts. First, I did some scientific research on what makes owning a cat great. Earth Shaking Purr. They function as a portable space heaters and nothing beats when they line your chest in purr. Purring and cuddling, they poop in boxes. Oh, also some people just sent me pictures of their cat, which I really enjoyed. Um, oh, and my favorite, you always have an emergency source of food when civilization collapses. And that, that one? I think what these are trying to say is the best part of owning a cat is feeling like it loves you back. So what if I made something when you pet it, it responded positively. Here's the plan. I'm gonna have an Arduino, one of those little motors in your phone that makes it vibrate, and a servo and a vibration sensor. Whenever you pet the cat, you'll trigger the vibration sensor that will set off the servo and the motor to vibrate. This will simulate a cat purring and wagging its tail. Hopefully this will simulate what it's like petting a real cat. So we got our vibration sensor, our teeny phone buzzer, and the servo. And when I bump this, it makes those activate. Now I'm gonna put all these electronics into this. There it goes, my little happy tail. So I think the trick here is gonna be sewing this motion sensor in a place where it's gonna get bumped when you pet it, which I think is just gonna be right here, honestly. If you listen very carefully, you can hear the cat purring. I know, it's very subtle. Here's my little friend. When I pet him, we're very wagging his tail. He's so happy. It's gotta keep petting him, keep him happy. Don't tell me this isn't exactly what a real cat is like. It's kind of both cute and terrifying to have your cat making so many buzzing noises constantly. Um, but I think I love it. I think I'm gonna keep it. Very good cat, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So when I was editing this video, I actually had an epiphany. This is the exact same project that Bart made in the episode of The Simpsons for the science fair. Yeah, uh -huh. Research shows it's impossible to gaze at a baby seal and say anything like, aww, precisely. And at science fairs, the odds get the A. And he ended up taking it to a nursing home and it made everyone in the nursing home really happy. Now I built a dumb, goofy project, but it actually does have real world connotations that are pretty interesting. There's this robot specifically designed to be a therapy animal called Paro, and it's actually just the baby seal from The Simpsons. Paro seal is a therapeutic robot that is used to engage people living with dementia. The benefits of the Paro seal are that it engages the person living with dementia, and it gives them the opportunity to give and receive unconditional love, and in so doing, increases their sense of well-being, which is essential for person-centered care. I'm thinking that maybe this came first before The Simpsons. First, it's his cuteness. That, that's the first visual contact they have. Then the touch is so important and that he responds to their touch. It's interesting exploring that robots can also be companions because the whole interaction we have them on several level is fake because it's programmed, but the emotions we feel might be real. So basically what I'm saying is this is just a Simpsons parody channel now. 